Just last month in the budget, they tried to take away up to £150 per week from people with disabilities to fund tax cuts for the very wealthiest. That's their priorities. This week, the publication of the Panama Papers drives home what more and more people feel. Quite simply, it's this. There's one rule for the rich and one rule for everybody else. And it's therefore high time, high time that we got tough on tax havens. Britain has a huge responsibility because many of those tax havens are in British overseas territories or Crown dependencies. The leaked documents show tax havens have become honeypots of international corruption, tax avoidance and tax evasion. They are sucking revenues out of our own country and many others, fueling inequality, shortchanging our services and our people. The government needs to go beyond warm words on tax dodging. There cannot be one set of tax rules for the wealthy elite and another for the rest of us. The unfairness and abuse must stop. So I say this to the government and to the Chancellor, no more lip service. The richest must pay their way. So instead of cutting Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs, the government must provide extra resources for the tax authorities to go after those, those who think they're above the law. It's simply unacceptable that while council budgets are cut, the services in which people rely on are being cut, the super-rich elite dodge their taxes and flout the rules all over the world.